step out like you're pitching, okay? And notice how far apart my feet are, right? I'm not like this. Did any of you guys stride out this far when you're throwing the baseball? Right? You guys try to get big down the hill, right? So you're going to be big here. Bend your elbows a little bit, all right? And your hands are going to come up here like this. My shoulders are trying to get behind my hips. Feel a stretch here. And then we're going to come forward like this. All right? We're trying to get balance, flexibility. All right? It's not really going to work the shoulders that much. It's going to be more of like an isometric deal there. Still. Does that make sense? Not like in motion. Okay? Any questions there? So we're going to try to do that one. And then after that, we're going to be out here. We're going to go side to side. Okay? Why do you think we're going to go side to side like this? What's that going to work? What? Stretch the knees. Obliques, yeah. right? Okay. What else? Okay. Bent elbows. We're going to travel a lot with our body. Come forward. But you see how I'm always firm on my front side? Just like when you're coming down the hill. You don't ever want to collapse. Does that make sense? And then we'll go here again. Side to side. Now you think that's going to be easier or harder than the one out here? Side to side. Harder. 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 Why? It weights farther out. Exactly. Okay, and that's going back to leverage, and we'll talk about that more with mechanics. Okay, if you guys think we're gonna have a really good long base, all right, slightly bent arms, we're gonna throw our way backwards like this. See how I'm moving a lot though? All right, what do you think we're working there? Kind of already told you, right? What is it? And what? What part of the shoulder do you think? Yeah, the top and the back. Okay, we're not really working the front because we're trying to get backwards. Does that make sense? And then we can also go here. Personally, I don't really care for this one that much, but I want you guys to at least try it today and go side to side. Make sense? All right. Go down and die. All right, we're going to get to almost a release point. We're going to take it back like before. Let this thing relax. Rotate forward. Okay, but you see how I'm not doing this? Okay, we don't want to extend our arm. Okay, we want to put the stress on it rotationally. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, kind of like the single arm stuff up here. Okay, and we'll do that front and back also. Okay, now we're going to switch these. What do you think we're going to do next? Back to what I said at the very start, every rep that you do one way, we've got to do the other, right? Girlfriends wouldn't like it if one side was all beefy and the other side was not. <laughs> so now we're going to cross them over, okay? This is going to be my glove side. This will be my throwing side. We're going to face this way. And this one isn't, you know, all rotational. This is where we're going to be more extended, okay? Like this. We're just crossing them up, trying to pinch the shoulder blades at an angle. But we're throwing our body weight into it again for balance. Any questions on those? All right, and this one will be called flexion. Okay, because we're flexing and extending the shoulder. Okay, that's these four. All right, everybody's going to run through one exercise at a time, so you'll do internal. All of you will do it.